My name is Tyler Bragginson, and I'm an Applications Engineer for Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can take a SOLIDWORKS drawing and balloon individual dimensions, as well as notes, using SOLIDWORKS inspection to generate a first article inspection drawing. To begin, I'll turn on my SOLIDWORKS inspection add-in. From the SOLIDWORKS inspection ribbon, I can choose to start a new project. Under the general settings for our inspection project, I'll begin by defining some properties. I can manually type in properties such as part number, part name, and part revision, or I can link these values to specific properties from the model or drawing. To link them, I simply click on the name of the property. Here I can choose to link to the drawing or to the model. I'll go ahead and choose the property number from my model. Next, I'll link to the part name using the description. And finally, the part revision from my model. Additionally, I can specify characteristic information, such as the first number to use for my balloons, the orientation in which I want my balloons to be placed, as well as the sampling size. On the next screen, I can specify what information I would like SOLIDWORKS inspection to extract. Here I can specify dimensions, notes, GDNT, hole callouts, welds, and service finishes. Under the dimensions, I can choose to include all dimensions, inspection only dimensions, which have to be set at the dimension level and are denoted by the oval, or reference and basic dimensions. On the next screen, you can specify the tolerance settings for those dimensions which don't have explicit tolerances. We can choose to specify our tolerance based on precision, range, or document defaults. For our precision tolerance, we can set our linear as well as our angular values, and then say OK. SOLIDWORKS inspection then extracts all of the information specified and creates the characteristic tree, which lists off all of the items. Next, we'll want to add our balloons. To add the balloons, I can choose to balloon the document. Under the balloon settings, we can specify where to place the balloons, the layer in our drawing we want the balloons placed on, as well as the shape and offset for the balloons. Saying OK, we'll automatically place a balloon for each item in our characteristic tree. The balloons are annotations, so we can just drag them around or override the values. To turn the balloons on or off, we can go ahead and utilize the layer properties to turn the balloon layer off or on. We can also use this to change the color of our balloons. Now we have our drawing completely ballooned and we're ready to generate our report. To generate the report, we simply need to export our characteristic tree to Excel. We can choose the template we'd like to use in Excel and say OK. SOLIDWORKS inspection will automatically generate the report for us and all of our information captured from the drawing is placed in the proper location within the table. Today we took a look at how to utilize SOLIDWORKS inspection add-in to generate a balloon drawing and first article inspection report. Thank you for watching.